described what he would do when they would send him to go and see some head of state. So that's, that's, that was my job as an economic hitman. He said, I, I would have, I would say to the president or prime minister, I got a, on this hand, dollars. On this hand, a gun. Then he said, well, not exactly like that. I would say it in a more diplomatic, diplomatic way. And that's right. But the guy listening to him understood the message. He got it. So um, sometimes when they say that the IMF is loaning a country that's not asking for it, they're giving you loans. You didn't ask for it. Many of those countries didn't ask for a loan. It was the economic hitman's job. They said, you need a loan. He says, we don't need a loan. They said, well, you better get the loan. We don't need a loan. Well, then they say, we know how much you have in such and such a bank abroad. You want your citizens to know that you stacked out money abroad? Oh, no, I don't want them to know. All right, then you need a loan, don't you? <laughs> he says, okay, yeah, I settle for it. See? So sometimes it's a, a result of blackmail. Blackmail. From blackmail to real threats will bring down your government, will make your country ungovernable. And so they say, all right, we'll take the loan. So the IMF gives them their conditionalities policies. That's interesting. It's always one-sided. And then you're told you cannot use the money for infrastructure. Can you read again for us that, that portion you read yesterday, where the um, Israel 